Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Captain Ernesto from Thin Blue Line Fishing LLC out in Chicago, Illinois. So in this video right here, I'm going to go ahead and give you the steps that I've taken to go ahead and start a fishing charter business on Lake Michigan in Chicago, Illinois. I had some people uh, message me on Facebook and Instagram asking me if I could do a video on the steps I've taken to start my, uh, my fishing charter business. So uh, let's get to it. Um, so a couple of reasons why I went ahead and started my business uh, as a fishing charter. Uh, one, I grew up fishing, I grew up on the water, so I knew eventually after retirement I would want to be a fishing charter captain uh, full time. So I started preparing um, early so when, it, when I do hit retirement I could go ahead and do this full time, which uh, the last couple of years has been great. And I counting down the days to retirement, which I have uh, a little bit to go. Uh, so, a uh, couple things. Obviously, before you even consider starting your business, um, you want to have your captain's license, your OUPV. I went ahead and got mine through the Mariner's Learning System. I'll go ahead and attach a link to this video. Um, I do have a YouTube video on uh, the Mariner Learning System. Um, about the testing and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and attach the video to this right here so you can go ahead and look at. Uh, so, but yeah, that's probably the first thing you want to work on. Make sure you have your seat time um, before you even start uh, considering starting, starting up your business right now. Uh, so after you get your captain's license, uh, next thing you want to do is uh, start looking at your business name, all right? Um, consider what you want your business name to be. You could do a, a Google search um, in, the, for the, in the Secretary of State. Um, go to see if that business name is available, and you can go ahead and, and pick it if it's available. Um, so starting off your LLC, all right? If you're going to be in Illinois, just go to the Secretary of State, um, do an LLC search, um, starting up your business. It'll take you directly to the link that you want uh, to create your LLC. Um, mine is an LLC sole proprietor. I am the only um, owner of my business. Um, so that's what I went ahead and did. It's very self-explanatory. Um, it's basically you're going to be checking some boxes in the website. Um, it's gonna, once you have your, uh, your business name, you're gonna, it's going to ask you for your owner operator, which is going to be 90, probably about 99% of the time it's going to be uh, the person starting the business. So in my case, um, I am the owner and I'm the, the member, um, so my information goes inside there. So um, I'm going to be the registered agent for my business. Um, obviously, you're going to prepare your um, articles of organization. Uh, which there's a fee for that. So there's a, I believe you pay $150 for your LLC. For your articles of organization, um, I believe that's around $400. bucks. you will pay for that as well. Um, all these prices are subject to change, so just go ahead and once you're in the process of doing it, it'll tell you the pricing. Um, so you're going to create your operating agreement, which all that is done on the LLC, um, on the website. Next thing you're going to want to do is get an EIN. Your EIN is basically your social security number for your business. All right. So with your EIN, that's what you would use to go ahead and open up a business bank account. Uh, so that way you could um, have your business funds going to that account right there. Um, so that's, that's probably one of the next steps you'd want to do. After you have your LLC created, Everything is good. You send your documentation. It's approved. You, um, you're going to register with the Illinois Department of Revenue, which I believe that's all done when you're um, creating your LLC. All right. For your EIN, um, you, you could do that. Um, like if you Google create an EIN, it'll take you to a website. You could create it for free, um, or you could pay a company to go ahead and do an EIN for you. All right, it's probably easier to do it, um, you know, pay somebody, but if you have, a, you know, 10, 15 minutes to go ahead and play around, you can do it online by yourself for free. Um, save yourself some money there. Um, so after, after you have all that done, you have your business created, it's approved by the state of Illinois, 
Um, next thing you're going to want to do is probably start creating your website. All right, there's some free websites you could use to create your, your business. Um, I, I, when I first started off, I used Wix, W-I-X. The website was free. I created it on there. Um, I, I moved on to GoDaddy. Um, I like the way their web design uh, platform was for, or it is for me. Um, it would have videos, attach a link. Now, I'm sure you can do that with Wix, but I like it was just smoother for me to use GoDaddy. Uh, so create your website, create a Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you know, Snapchat, TikTok, you know, anything that's going to generate people to look at your business. Um, I know that's right now the market is all about social media. So the more you have your name out there on all these different platforms, the more business is going to come towards you or people are more likely to refer you. Um, so that's something right there. Uh, now, after you have that all set up, um, obviously have a plan for your business, all right? There's a lot of expenses um, when it comes to starting up your, uh, your, your fishing charter business. Obviously, the biggest expense is going to be your vessel, all right, your boat, uh, what you're going to be taking people on. Um, so if you don't have a boat already, um, you're going to have to have, you know, to have a budget for it. All right, either financed, um, but have that in mind. All right, there's a lot of expenses. You know, you're looking, depending, you know, a used to, uh, you know, a used boat is going to run you anywhere between, you know, maybe twenty and eighty thousand dollars for a boat to be on Lake Michigan. And depending on what kind of boat you want, it could even cost more. Uh, when I first started out, I already had a boat, um, and I had the equipment and stuff like that on it. Um, I started off my business on an 18 foot deep V tracker boat, all right? Uh, a lot of people thought I was crazy taking my, you know, an 18 foot, you know, deep V on Lake Michigan, but you know what? It handled just fine, all right? Um, take out two, three, four people at a time, it was great, no issues at all. Um, but ultimately, I wanted to go bigger. Um, I ended up getting, um, you know, a 27 foot uh, Bayliner trophy, you know, fit up to six people comfortably, um, ended up wanting to get something bigger to handle, you know, bigger waves, weather condition, you know, um, ended up going with a 3100 open tiara, which I just got uh, over this uh, past fall. So budgeting obviously is going to be a big factor and having those funds either available or having access to those funds, um, it's, it's very crucial. Um, so um, obviously, like I said, um, Having a boat that you want, um, either you have it already or if you don't. Um, expenses, there's a lot of upfront expenses, all right? So your boat, your insurance, all right? You're going to have to get a char uh, charter endorsement insurance, which could cost, you know, 2000 or more a year, depending on your size of your boat and how many times you're going to charter, um, and a lot of other factors in there. So that's another expense, upfront expense. All your fishing equipment. You know, you're, if you don't have all this fishing equipment already, you're going to probably spend, any, you know, $5,000 to maybe $15,000 on rods, reels, tackle, equipment, you know, life vests, everything that you're going to need for your boat, uh, fire extinguishers. There's so much that you need uh, up front to have for your boat. Uh, whether you're going to be trailering your boat or if you're going to have it in a slip, the most cost-effective um, for your business is if you could trailer your boat, all right? It's an inconvenient because you're trailing your boat to and from, you're burning fuel that way. Um, you gotta pay a daily slip fee or you have to pay the yearly slip fee in Chicago, which is about 475, but you have to have your boat in and out at certain times. Um, so for your slip fee, if you're gonna have your boat uh, at the docks, you're looking minimum probably about $4,000 uh, for a boat under 30 foot. Starts going up, you know, after that. So you're probably looking anywhere between four and eight thousand dollars a year just for your slip fee uh, to have your boat at the docks in, in the city of Chicago. In different harbors, it's a little cheaper here and there, um, but that's an expense regardless you're going to have. Uh, now you're talking about winter storage. 
winter storage, you're going to pay anywhere between $1,500 and then maybe $3,500, depending on if you want outdoor and indoor winter storage, uh, winterization for your boat. If you don't do it yourself, you're going to have somebody do it. You know, you're looking at anywhere between, you know, $1,200 to maybe $4,000 for winterization uh, to have your boat covered. Um, a lot of places, you know, you have to have your boat shrink wrapped, uh, which is going to cost, you know, $1,000 to $1,500 for, for uh, shrink wrapping. Um, advertising, you know, that's your, you have to pay your advertising yearly, you know, which would be four to four hundred to a thousand dollars in advertising. Your licensing, um, you gotta send your documentations to the state. Uh, per vessel it's about fifty dollars per vessel uh, that you have uh, registered, which is not much. Um, obviously your your fuel for your boat. You know that's last year it was more well, gas prices the way they were, you know, it it, it, it hurt a lot. You know, you're spending anywhere between you know, minimum 250 bucks per trip, you know, up to 400 depending on how long and how far out you have to go. So that's a big factor that you have to consider. Um, not every, you know, you got a lot of expenses before you start making a profit. Uh, permits, you know, there's permits. The city of Chicago, they charge a permit fee of like 400 bucks, 475 somewhere around there for your, for your Lake Michigan charter permit. Um, let me see. Obviously, maintenance on your boat, unexpected maintenance. Um, I had my lower unit go on my boat. I had to cancel trips uh, for that. I had to have my lower unit repaired. That cost a couple thousand dollars right there on top of losing, you know, the trips that I, uh, that I had to cancel because my lower unit went out on me. So, um, obviously, starting the business, um, you got to have some good funds. You know, available to you for all these upcoming uh, upfront expenses. Um, let me see what else. What else? Um, yeah, I think that that basically covers it. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. Once you get your boat, it needs to be inspected. All right, have your boat surveyed. All right, make sure you get a good, worthy boat. Another important thing. Um, before you even purchase a boat, call the insurance company to see if they will um, insure that vessel as a charter vessel. Um, depending on the year of it, they won't. So that, that was an issue I almost ran into. Um, it was a beautiful boat and I really wanted it, but due to the year of the boat, they wouldn't insure it. Um, and then I found a company that would, but I mean, they wanted Close to, I think it was like five thousand dollars for the year just to insure, which is which was way too much. Uh, so make sure you find a vessel that can be insured. Um, after you get it insured and you got all your documents, you send it to the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. They'll review it. Um, they'll send you your permit. You send them the fee. Um, that's taken care of. Uh, let me see what else. Um, you know, don't let anybody tell you that you can't start a fishing business. If you want it, do it. You know what, there's uh, there's gonna be people out there that tell you, you know, like, you know, like in my case, you know, what are you doing out there with an 18 foot, you know, boat on, on Lake Michigan? People go out there all the time. Um, obviously I had to be more cautious taking customers out, um, but it was, it, I ran plenty of trips, it was great. Um, you know, it's, uh, if you want to take two, three people out at a time, it's perfect to take, out, to take it out. Um, obviously, you know, you want to be cautious when you have to go completely offshore 15, 20 miles. You don't want to get caught in a, in a bad rainstorm or, you know, the waves pick up, um, stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, if you want it, don't let anybody stop you. Go ahead and, and do it. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of people out here that will support you. Um, and we'll be happy for you. Um, there's plenty of plenty of water on Lake Michigan for everyone to have a you know a charter business that they really want. It. So uh, that being said, if I missed anything, I apologize. I, a lot of this I was just trying to do it off the top of my head, um, just going over the steps. So um, if I remember anything, I'll go ahead and attach uh, add it in the comments section. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have any comments or anything like that, 
feel free to leave a comment in the in the comment section. I'll go ahead and respond to it as soon as I can. Um, but if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And um, if you're looking for a fishing charter on Lake Michigan, look me up, Thin Blue Line Fishing LLC, or you can give me a call, 708-663-2467. See you guys on the water.